hello everyone today we will learn how to make our first python program so for this uh, you can uh, use various uh, compilers various framework in that one uh, vs code is one and uh, online compilers are so many there you can uh, make your python program in python idle pycharm so right now i will be starting with a uh, online uh, with an online compiler and here how i'll write my first program just see this please i'll start my command line first of all what i am doing so i will tell that this is this is my first python program and then here i can uh, you know see uh, whenever we make program at the time the aim of the program uh, you know must be very clear with that here as I am writing just a simple uh, statement that this is my Python program so I can directly use print statement to print that this is my first program print this is my first Python program like this I can I can write uh, my first program and then I will uh, write over although C comments are not uh, you know not uh, used in compilation at all in uh, interpret in interpretation or uh, you know in um, instruction creation nothing will be uh, compiler will not be doing anything uh, for these those will be ignored but uh, you know these can be a good reference for your own purpose whenever you want whenever you are uh, you know making your functions whenever you are working with big projects at that time if you have given comments it will be quite easy for you to understand how uh, you know these uh, functions these programs have been made and it is always nice uh, to use uh, you know to um, uh, to write this uh, because you know sometimes the complex functions if are are being made then it becomes difficult uh, to understand what all func what all uh, is the purpose of that particular function so for that purpose if you do this it will be a nice one so i'll just uh, run this program when i'll run it and i'll get an output for this that this is my first python program here is this is my first python program output has come up and now and now I can uh, you know explore this program little bit more here after doing this I will try to make uh, you know this program uh, by using some variables see let us suppose if I declare a variable uh, you know with initialize and declare both Python actually when we write a variable that means it is being declared as well as initialized so here i am uh, you know trying to make a variable say i'll put it uh, as a num num is a variable and this variable is being initialized with some value say 10 and now if i want to print its value i'll write here value of the variable value of the variable is and i'll put its uh, value like this so variable is to be defined which i have defined here and now if I run it, I will be getting value of this variable as 10. Again, you can see that. So, what I will do, I will run it. And here is a run. Here is a run. And here is a run. I will click on this. And when I make it, I will make it, uh, you know, I will try to explore this more. Say, I will write print address of this variable so address of the variable so what is that address of the variable is I will write here again uh, you know address of this num variable please so here I will use ID function ID function gives its uh, you know unique ID for this uh, variable in the memory so I'll put it as num so that means we are going to get uh, you know uh, uh, the address uh, ID of this num variable then I want to know type of the variable so I'll write here 
type of the variable so what type of variable it is you can put here something like this and then again you need to use another function that is type function and again pass parameter num as an argument and then uh, it will be displaying three things so about a variable uh, you know num and about a very vari this variable you are trying to know everything value address and type because uh, see whenever we are working with the variables functions class or whatever program you are making you should uh, know complete about it so because you know this variable is residing in the memory so you should know its value and where it is residing and what type of variable it is now after as uh, this is done so if you will run it you again you will find the complete detail of this now go down here you are getting value of the variable is 10 address of the variable is 9801536 this is a unique address id and type of the variable is integer type so this type will change on as you will uh, you know as your input will change so here again we will come up uh, in in the uh, our program source so here again now this time what i'll change i will i will change this variable because you know right now i am uh, you know using integer variable say i will give some name to it say india now it has become a string type variable so again if i will run this variable see run it and see what is going to come value of the variable address of the variable uh, and type of the variable so here the most important thing what we are trying to know the change of variable in the form of it's a type so because you know see earlier wa it was integer variable now this time it is string variable so when you will run this and see what outcome is going to come so go see the output of the program has come value of the variable is this address of the variable is something has been given address uh, unique id of this that variable and type of the variable is string type then after this once this is done if we will do something else something else now two numbers so here again i will start my program in the same one you can take now two variables so i will say here again because you know see this was my first program now i am i am trying to put another program here so in this case what i'll do i'll write my python program for finding sum of two numbers so uh, program name is finding sum of two numbers so when I am trying to find out sum of two numbers so my comment is like this so but just by seeing this comment I will be able to understand what really this program is for so I am taking one variable a and I am trying to give some value to it say a equal to 10 another variable, variable I will take b equal to 20 and now because you know I'm going to uh, find out some of these two numbers so I need to take another variable say if you want to store it it uh, in another variable that's why you are taking another variable that is s so here you can define your formula for summation and which I have defined after this after this I can write here sum is sum is you can put that variable so I'll put here s and once this is done now you can rerun it and you will get the output for this then run this program run it and see the output so s is uh, s equal to this should be here 30 your answer so go down and see the output please output is 30 so your output is coming uh, after summing the two variables a and b now here little more please we will go ahead with the we will go ahead with little more with the uh, you know
this time I will find out sum of two numbers but this time I will not initialize them rather I will get it from user so I will write int means integer conversion whatsoever I will get from the user then I will use my function input function and I will write here enter first number so I have entered first number and then I can do same for the another number here I will put input and then I will write enter second number and enter, enter second number so when that has been done I will close it with the another bra bracket now again here whatsoever you are entering for uh, a and b values then that will be summed up and assigned to s once it is assigned then again we can print the value so again I will compile it and run it so just here I will come down to here please and now you can again run it when you are run see what output what it is going to ask you and what the output can be seen just a minute please output here we have to give answer to this so here because you know two inputs are to be given say I'll I'll write 90 and another input is 80 so input has been given you need to again run that program you need to run again run that program so go here and run it once you have run now see the output that is that must be coming down here output is 170 90 plus it is 170 so like this you can make your program and then after that so after that we can make some more programs so right now for this uh, session I'll over it here please then we will do in the next uh, coming video thank you very much for views uh, for seeing this